Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a video today on my little mini collection of turquoise stacking rings and the cuff that I'm going to be releasing. Now this video might go up right before I release it or when I release it. I think I'm going to put it up before so this way you guys can kind of be aware that it's coming soon. Um, it will be up probably by the end of the weekend, um, if not Monday. So to get started, I received a lot of turquoise that I bought. and. This turquoise is uh, from two different mines. One, it's uh, Pilot Mountain, and then the other one is Turquoise Mountain. And the cuff is the Turquoise Mountain, and that one is stabilized. A lot of what you find on the market today is stabilized or enhanced in some sort of way. Because turquoise is so soft, a lot of the times to fill in like the porous um, stone or to maybe enhance the color, they will uh, stabilize it with resins or epoxies or something of that nature. So um, I like to disclose that if I have that information and it's always good to try to get that or buy from people that will provide that to you. So to get started, um, I have a set of rings from sizes six to nine and a half. So six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half and so on and so forth. I will show you a side by side, so I'll talk and I'll have a side by side of the detail in, in video so you guys can see a little bit more. And um, yeah, so all of the information will be below as far as my websites where you can find the rings and I will put when I'm going to drop them so this way you guys can, uh, you know, be on the lookout. So the first ring I'm going to talk about, and I'll do a little up close right here, and then I'll do a side by side is this beautiful Robin's Egg Bluish uh, Pilot Mountain Turquoise. And the measurements on this one is 18 millimeters by 9 millimeters. Very, very pretty. And this is a size 6 uh, Pilot Mountain Turquoise. So that one is that. The next one I have is um, going to measure about 15 by uh, 13 millimeters and this one kind of has like a cool funky shape lots of green and brown inclusions this one has kind of like a little crack striation going on um, which I'll note in the listing but there's nothing wrong with the turquoise it's just how it came to me so the next one is probably my favorite one I don't know why but it has a lot of brown in it um, a little bit of green and a lot of like that tealy turquoise blue but absolutely beautiful it's like a little egg shape um, this one measures 15 millimeters by 11 millimeters and this is a size 7. The next turquoise I have um, is a really slender cut. I really like this one. It has a lot of the turquoise in it with very minimal brown inclusions going through it uh, in the matrix and this one is 16, almost 17 millimeters by 8 millimeters, almost 9. And this one is a size 7.5. The next one I have is, I love this one, it's like a little teardrop shape, and you can see it has a lot of brown inclusion into it, um, but also it shows a nice color pop of the teal, um, or you should, I should say turquoise. But uh, this one does measure 17 and a half by about nine millimeters. The next one, um, I also really, really like this one, it has a really nice dark, dark brown inclusion on the bottom, and also that really nice bright turquoise color. Um, and this has a nice, like, overly um, elongated shape if you like those kinds of stones. This one measures at 19 by about 8 millimeters. So that is a size 8.5. The next one I have has a lot of uh, turquoise and a little bit of brown, light brown coloring, and it's 18 by about nine and a half millimeters. And this one is a size uh, nine. Sorry, I'm very, I'm trying to like do this video so it's structured, but I don't know, it's kind of hard because <laughs> I usually do such informal videos, so excuse me if I'm a little all over the place. It's the first time I'm doing this side by side thing. Um, and the next one I have, I also really like the shape of this one. It's like a little fat nugget. It's about 14 millimeters by 13 millimeters. And again, this one has a lot of like greeny kind of blue and a very minimal amount of brown in it. And it's a size nine and a half. Now, all of these rings are on a 12 gauge band. A 12 gauge band measures about 2.1 millimeters. And I also hammer it out. So it'll be just a little bit wider than that. And it has a really nice, gorgeous shine because of the hammering, so it really, really complements. I love turquoise in a high shine. I think it looks fantastic in a very rustic um, Native American uh, style jewelry as well, but I sell mainly high shine, so I try to stick to my line with that. 
Now, the last piece, and this is probably my favorite piece, it's the first silver cup I've done. I've done a lot of copper cups, but I don't know why I've never made any silver cups. So this is a very minimalistic, beautiful design, and this is the stabilized turquoise mountain. Very, very bright blue, um, just awesome for summer. Such a pretty piece to just add on to like a really nice chic outfit that you're wearing out at night. I just picture it because I'm just so excited for the summer. It's just that breezy, you're going out to dinner, you're wearing a nice flowy top, whatever you're wearing. You could be bohemian, you could dress funky, you could dress classy, however you dress. This will look so pretty and it's adjustable and it has two balls on the end so it's very, very comfortable. There's no sharp edges on this cup and it's again polished to that really nice high shine. And the stone measures about 24 millimeters by 15. So it's a really, really nice size stone. Um, all of these stacking rings are going to vary in price. I haven't priced them as of yet, but I'm gonna say that if I could give an estimate, they'll be around probably like 48 to $60 in that price range. And the cuff will be probably between like I don't know, maybe 110 and 125. I'm not too sure yet. So I'll have all uh, my links below for my website. And I will certainly Instagram when I uh, drop these. So make sure to follow me there if you're interested in any of these. And they're great just everyday pieces. I don't do a lot of these small little rings ready to ship. I do a lot of stuff made to order. So I thought this was a nice thing to kind of go into summer or have for Mother's Day gifts. And I might do a little mini collection for Mother's Day. Let me know if you guys would be interested. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time, but maybe make like some nice post earrings. Things that are affordable, maybe like 25, like $40, just little quick gifts um, for your mom, like little heart posts or little heart stacking rings. So let me know your thoughts on that. And um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video and thanks for watching. Bye.